Good morning, my loves. How are we? What's that? So dramatic. Absolutely no idea why. Let's see if we're up and running. Let's turn that down there. Uh, we're on. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Now, how are we all? Uh, I hope we're well. Uh, let's just get me up here. Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's get that. Let's do that. And then we can see if we're all together. Let's go live there. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, chat's up. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Oh, let's go. Gillian, morning, my love. Michelle, morning, my love. Elizabeth, Lara, guten tag. Norma, how you doing, my love? Deborah, Lee. Oh, you're up early, Lee. AJ, Stephen, gorgeous. Loving you all. Thank you very much. Anna, all the way from Jib. Um, Mar Marion, bonjour. Comment ça va? Bonjour. Cynthia, it's lovely to see you all now. The poll, you probably already know the result. Which dance are we doing today? We're doing Samba. <laughs> Times I've been voted off Strictly Come Dancing doing the Samba, but then some of the best dancers I've ever done on Strictly Come Dancing have been the Samba. The last time I did a Samba on Strictly Come Dancing, I had to come out of a woman's frock with an exploding maraca. <sighs> Happy days. Now, <laughs> Uh, the Samba was a great dance, but the Foxtrot so nearly won that the, the, the Samba picked it all. We're going to do some Foxtrot next week. And what we're going to do with the Foxtrot, because it's such a long and um, flowing dance, we're just going to do it in, we'll do little bits, and then we'll add it all together when we get some space. Um, samba, the, the same, really, the Samba's a progressive dance. It never used to be, about a million years ago when I first learned it, it was all about the bounce. And old Craig River Hall likes to talk about the double bounce. Not still quite sure what that is, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. That was the most important thing. The progression wasn't everything. Now progression is everything in samba. So, and the dance is a bit flatter than it used to be. Uh, although there is still the, the the sort of bouncy stuff going underneath, but it goes on sort of you. You have to feel like your head doesn't go up. Once upon a time, your head would go up and down like this. But now your head stays at the same height, and the bounce happens underneath, here. And it's a sort of forward and back hip action. <laughs> Fantastic. And there's a lot of circular hip action in it. So we'll come to all of that in a moment. But first of all, we'll just learn a few steps. We've not done samba before. So, uh, by the way, I call it samba. Some people call it samba. I just think samba sounds awful. Samba sounds so much more elegant. Um, so uh, we'll go over some of the basic steps uh, and start to put a few things together and we'll do it very, very simply. Now, we, uh, for the, the, at the moment we're doing natural opposites. So I'm going to go forward my left foot as the boy and the lady is going to go backwards on her right foot. So I'm just going to do this to the boy's step. I go forward, tap, back, tap. Very simple. One, two. A one, a two, a three, a four. And that's the timing. A one, a two, a three, a four. I know, already ridiculous. One, two. Forward left, back right. Ladies, you go back right, forward left. And back right, forward left. That is just the a basic samba, uh, forward and back basic samba action. The young Bum. And the hip starts to go, a one, a two, a one, a two. See all those a counts, a one. Well, that's the hips flashing about all over the place on those. We'll come to that later. One and two. And there's that little bounce, you see? A yumpy dom. And watch my feet. Can you see my feet from there? I'll just pull my trousers up a little bit. One, a two, and one, and two. Up, forward, up. And for and there's your bounce. See, that's the bouncing action through the feet. You sort of need that because that's the rhythm of the dance. It's a bit like waltz. You can't do waltz just flat. It doesn't look like a waltz. So as I start going up and down like this, it looks like a waltz. Samba the same. If I don't have that, if I don't have that nice bounce, if I just go step, step, which is essentially what the step is, I, I could be doing anything, really, dance-wise. So the the bounce bit is important. We're not going to focus massively on it right now, we're just going to learn some steps. Two, and we're just sort of, I know, hair's going floppy, we're just going to go, we'll just introduce it gently as we go, but remember, the top footwork goes ball lower, ball lower, ball lower, 
ball lower, or toe lower, toe lower, toe lower. All right, ladies, you're gonna go yum, dum, yum, dum, yum, like that. Now, that's just the full back basic. We're now gonna do a whisking action. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. So that's the same as we were doing the waltz. So if we, oh, and by the way, I keep forgetting that people are joining us every day who haven't been with us before. And I keep talking in such a way that we've all been in it together since the beginning. And I, I realise we haven't. We've got people joining us all the time. So if you're joining us for the first time today, welcome. It's lovely to see you. And thank you very much for coming along. Um, I'm going to try not to have too much presumed sort of knowledge and information that you already know. Uh, this is your first time. Of course, this is your first time. So we're going to do a whisking action. It's the same whisk that we would use maybe in the waltz. So I'll show you how it goes. So boys, left foot. We go forward, side. As you forget the forward bit, go straight side. Side, behind, replace. Side, behind, replace. One, two. One, and two. Now I'm going to do it as a lady, and you'll get a better idea of what the feet are doing as the lady, because I hope you can see them better. So the lady, you're going to go with your left foot, I'm going to go to the side. One, and two, and three, and four. So go one, tap, two, tap. Essentially, that's the step. One, tap, and two, and tap, and then the hip starts to go, and two, and two, and then we add the bounce. You see this bounce? One, and two, and three, and yum, by yum, be yum, by yum, be yum. Get the idea? All right. I like it in the summer where I pick them up by their ankle and their wrist and I swing them around like this and then go like and they twirl on the floor. And really cool. So here we go. Four and a left foot boys. We go one, two, do three, four. Now we're going to go side, side whisk, two, three, four. All right, ladies, you're going to go backwards on your right foot. One, two, three, four, hips, one, and two, and three, and four. Samba done well. It, or it has a, such a fluid look about it. If it doesn't get too long and progressive, and just they're dancing a bit more, one, one dances a bit more, sort of less progressively. Uh, it's, there's such a fluidity about the samba. It's a tremendous dance, really. And the music is always great in samba. I always feel like you've got, a, it's like a bit of spaghetti, really, that you just, you do this to it. It all goes like that. And, it, and that's how I feel the body's got to be in samba. The whole thing's just going to be moving all the time. It's, 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 it's brilliant, really. It sort of makes me laugh every time I think about the samba. But it's a sort of a ridiculous action. This thing here is sort of ridiculous. I mean, it's... But when you're dancing it and you put it on the choreography, it's brilliant. I love it. So here we go. Boys again. Left foot. One and two. And you start to pop the hip. Three and four. Now we're going to side. One and two and three and four. Ladies, repeat that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. How's that? Not bad? Not bad. Let's have a look. I like this bit. I like going to bed. Um, uh, Anna, panto dancing in, in panto. Nice. I like it. Um, there are four rules. Make it fast, make it fun, make it easy, and move them around the floor. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> Move around the floor. Um, uh, um, well, listen, I'm not going to read out your comments because you can all read them out as well. So oh, I'm going to write down the bottom there. Uh, Amy, I love it too. You're amazing. Thank you very much. And I've got the steps, but not the hips. Um, can't concentrate. 
Hope are distracting me. What's hope? You mean hips? Um, the, but as we say, the hips are everything in the psalm. The rhythm is everything in the psalm because the, the steps are just the steps, you know. And rhythm's everything in, uh, in, in all the dances, really. If you can put the right rhythm in and the right sort of action going through the body or whatever it might be, then the dance looks like the dance. And that's essentially the timing as well. So you, then the timing comes out through the body. So the more you can do that, the better the dance, you see. Right, let's do another little variation. This is quite a simple thing. It's called a, um, a samba walk or a stationary samba walk if you don't progress it. And ba I'll do it this way here. And basically what happens is, is I'm going to go forward to my um, young bum. I'm going to forward to my left foot for a boy. So I'm going to go step one and two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step forward. Then I'm going to go tap my foot. So watch this. I go forward here with one foot. This is to get it started. Then I place this foot here. And as I... As I do that, I slide this foot back slightly, slide. And then I go close, back, slide. A very hint of a slide. One and two, and one and two. I can make that progressive by stepping forward and stepping forward, rather than closing. Does that make sense? This is the same for boy and girl, exactly the same, just doing the opposite foot. So I'm going to do it again sideways. So I go one, back, slide. Got that? Two, back, slide. I'll do this one closed. Close, back, slide. One, and two, and three, and four. Chips. One, and two, and three, and four. And then as I do this, the hip goes out, and three. See the hip go, whoop, whoop, and three. Get the idea? Ladies, you're doing basically you're doing the same thing. You're going this way here. One and two. I do stationary and three. Uh, one and two and three and four. Now you can see all this stuff under here is working, but I'm not really going up and down. So although we call it a bounce, this bit doesn't happen really. The bounce is sort of through the body. <laughs> it's inexplicable, really, isn't it? I agree completely. So here we go. Ready? These are called stationary sample walks. You can do them, uh, as I say, progressively. So it's a sort of a, a sample walk. If you do them without moving, stationary sample walk. Simple as that. Um, if you're in, for example, let's do this. So let's actually put this little thing together. We're going to do these three variations we've learned. We'll put them together as a routine. So for the man, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. I'm going to start with my right foot. Good. See how I have to work that out? Right foot for boys. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go to my right with my right foot. One with the whisk. Two. And the last one's a th three. And on this one here, I'm going, to, I'm going to do a forward walk. Four. Oh, did you see that? All right, ladies, you do this. You go back on your left, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now I'm going to step to the side, I do whisk, and whisk, and whisk. And now on this one here, I'm going to step forward, and slide, and two, and slide. Get the idea? So we add those two together. So a little um, whisk action there. Here, that's my last one here. Now I sit forward as a man, I'm going to step forward in promenade, so we both open up and go in the same direction here. And I'm going to go step and slide. And now I'm going to progress it, so I'm going to move forward. Step and slide. And I move forward again, step and slide. Just to progress. And then last one, step and side. Into the, into the hampers. And on that last one here, with my left foot available, I go straight back into a whisk. Whisk and whisk. All right, ladies, you go. One, a two, a three, a four. You do two of those, as long as it's an even number. One, a two, a three. Last one, now I'm gonna turn it. Four, here we go. One, and two, and three. Now I'm gonna go into my whisk. And one, there you go, and two, there you go. 
So as long as you do things in, well, it depends what you want to do next, because, uh, it, really, because it determines which foot you've got available, meaning you can decide what to do. So if I, if I do a one here and two here, I've got my, my right foot available, I can go back and do a whisk. If I do another one here, one and two, I've got my left foot available, which means I'd have to do a different variation. Maybe a Botafogo, here like this. But that's for another day. We'll show you Botafogo as another day. So whatever you um, decide you want to do next determines how many of what you do previously uh, in, the, in the routine you're putting together. Does that make any sense? Is that a bit technical? Did I use too many words and not enough sense? Okay, let me know. So we're going to go again from the top. Boys. We go one, two, three. Yeah, right foot for boys. Oh, why does that not want to go in? And right foot, left foot. I just do four of these to get you going. Back. Now go sideways, side and side. And the hips turn now. Walk and walk and walk and walk. Now I'm going to go sideways. Whisk and forward. So one whisk straight back into the beginning. And whisk. Do two at the beginning, straight into another whisk. So you can add it together as you like. Ladies, same thing. We go, we go back on the left foot. One and two and three and four. Side and side and side. Turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk. And now you whisk, whisk and whisk and whisk. Or you can start straight back again. How's that? A little bit of samba. I'm going to show you one more thing. Because this seems to be a favourite thing in the world of Strictly Come Dancing. And that is the reverse roll. It's, everybody loves it. Anybody who ever does Strictly Come Dancing and does the samba wants to do that step. It's an amazing step. I lose my footing after the walk. That's probably because you're not... Uh, you're not sort of going onto the back and there. You've got to be on that foot. You can't be split weight. And you have to make sure you don't wobble on the old, on the old uh, ankles as well. So you've got to get that weight right. That's for Michelle. You've got to get right on that foot. You see? Um, no idea what my hips are doing about <laughs> the steps. And up, we, well, that's fine. They'll all come together eventually. Uh, reverse rolls. Now, Frankie. So... What happens is, is that you are, I'm going to do the reverse roll, I'm going to do the, 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 the shadow roll, the spa roll, the reverse roll, basically, in shadow position. So the lady is backing me. Do you remember this one? Everyone's really going to ask me when we do this, here and three, and then we go away, and then body goes, and round you go, that one there, and five, and six. This is really, really advanced. This is very, very difficult. But it's great fun. This is one of the most fun steps in, in, a, in the samba. So we're going to learn it. And everybody wants to do it when they're doing Strictly Come Dancing. So it goes like this. It goes to the left, which means I'm going to start with my left foot. And the boys and the girls do exactly the same step. And it's the Viennese cross. Do you if, again, if you're not joining us the first time and you were here when we did Viennese turn, it's a reverse turn in Viennese waltz. I do this. I'm going to shuffle right way back. I'm going to do it in that direction so you can see it. I go forward my left foot. I go forward, side, cross. Back, side, together. That's it. And I repeat it. So I go, and forward, side, cross, back, side, together. And you see how I did it like that? Little sort of neat and tidy and small. My feet just go, ya, di, yum, a, yum, be, yum. See that? That's massively important because if you suddenly go, you're going to walk all over your partner. So it's important that you, you step here like this. Forward here, and you see the body starts to like, oh, and now my body goes like this. Now that's the foot action, the body does this here, and you've got to do that body action over the six steps one and two and five and six. <laughs> one and two and five and six. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, start again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you notice I'm holding my arms like this, but imagine I've got one arm around the lady's waist, one arm on the lady's outsider arm, and this arm 
is here, and we go round, way here. That's the reverse roll. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing a reverse roll day one of Samba. Ridiculous. But look at the feet again. Here we go. Forward, side, cross, back, side, together. Forward, side, cross, back, side, together. Forward, side, cross, back, side, together. And you see those steps are very small, but they're very rotational. I'm really turning on all of the steps. All right. Reverse roll. Samba. <laughs> you guys. Now, um, <laughs> Lee, you're right, it was an advanced figure. It's a ridiculously advanced figure. But it's great fun, Saffron. I'm loving this. Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I've just realised when I listen to music in the kitchen, I do the hips. Well, I'm still waiting to get some information back on whether we can use music in these um, classes or not. I've asked a question from the powers that be and I'm waiting for the reply. I hope it's okay. Um, I, I certainly could use my album the, uh, uh, and anything that I've recorded, uh, but I haven't recorded any samba, so that doesn't help us in this situation. But um, hopefully we'll come back positive. It's raining. Can you believe this rain? Um, and then we'll start to talk about music and timing and things like that. But there you go. There's the beginnings of our samba. <laughs> and no one got chucked across the floor and slid, which is another personal favourite. Uh, bless you all, my loves. Have a great... Oh, look at that. Hailstones a whole lot. I should think we'll probably be buffering shortly. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Maybe see you at three o'clock. Um, thank you very much. And tomorrow's recap. So uh, we'll recap a lot of the things that we've done this week, and um, if I remember it all. I think I missed a couple of bits out last weekend, but I'll try and remember it all. Much love. See you at three if you can make it. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good day.